everyone, and welcome back to the Cinderella Phenomenon! So, we have finished Rumpel's route, got the good ending, it was fantastic, except for the fact that Parfait died in Rumpel's route. So, <laughs> uh, let's start again from page one, chapter two. Uh, yeah, that's right, that's right. There's a, there's a whole lot of stuff to get through, so I'm just gonna restart. I feel like that's new. Hold up a sec. I was just going to skip to later? But I can break the curse on my own. Let's, and I think Waltz is a new addition too. So interesting. Let's see what happens when I say I can break the curse on my own. They offered to help, that, but that could have been because they felt pressured to. This curse is my problem and my burden. I will break it on my own. Perhaps doing my duties will be considered a good deed if I do them willingly. So if I sweep without the broom having to drag me around the room, I walk up to the broom. I cannot believe I'm about to do this. The floors aren't that dirty, but I heard a niece once say that there is no such thing as too clean. Do my eyes deceive me? Isn't it the magic? Definitely not. The enchantment I put on the broom hasn't activated yet. Does that mean the princess is actually... If you are going to stand around, could you not do so in the center of the room? I'm sweeping. There is no magic here. This is the most pathetic sweeping I have ever seen. She hasn't swept anything. She's just moved the dirt around the floor. It's in a perfectly even layer all over. Well, she's, um... Trying very hard. That should count. I can hear Delora and Denise talking about me in the corner of the room, but I make the point of ignoring their words. I set the broom back and wait. I do not know what signals the completion of a good deed, but I should know it when I see it. Will there be a flash of light? Will the piece of slipper appear in my hands or on my necklace? Whatever it is, it should have happened by now. You weren't expecting to have completed one of your good deeds through sweeping, were you? Doing what's expected of you does not make you good. It just makes you normal. And that's still a good thing! This is going to be harder than I expected. I stare in horror at the floor. Gravel and sand are embedded in the between the floorboards. The wood beneath my feet is covered in a thick muck. Oh no. You can't sweep muck. Oh no. S stop I never thought I'd see this. The princess is actually sweeping. We've been commenting on this a lot, Parfait. You weren't here for this conversation the other day? I'd say it's more like the broom is sweeping and the princess is just along for the ride. Lady Parfait, your orders have arrived. Where should I put them? At the back, please. Thank you. <laughs> I glare at Garland as he begins to move. You! You are dirtying the floor. Sorry. Garland dashes across the floor with long steps in an attempt to leave as few footprints as possible. This was Dolores doing, wasn't it? Is it that obvious? <laughs> this has witch having fun written all over it. I need water. Wow, completely spotless. I don't know if this is at all different from whatever conversation we had before. You are the worst. Don't be mad at the broom, princess. It is only trying to help. It is doing nothing but making my life miserable. A witch, lady parfait, blah blah, is a regular. She has mud on her shoes! Oh no! Just clean the floor! Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Never seen someone so frightened of her before. Whatever. Hmm. Whom should I ask for help today? No, I don't need any help at all whatsoever. I am alone in this universe. <laughs> I head toward the dining area to get some water. The people sitting in the march are talking and laughing with one another. Everyone is included. Everyone has someone to talk to. Is this what friendship is meant to look like? You're making a funny face, Lucette. Are you trying to comprehend the wonders of friendship? These people are all so friendly with one another, despite their differences. Doesn't it warm your frozen heart? <laughs> Until you consider that they're doing it only because they want something. All of them want to break their curses. They're all here because they hope to find clues. They come to the march and simply to use other people for their own convenience. Is that goodness? Is that what I'm meant to do? <sighs> there is a difference between using people and them offering to help you, princess. There is a big, important difference. I don't understand. I didn't think you would. What you say is true, but it is not the whole truth. Everyone is here to break their curses, sure, but most are here for their camaraderie, too. The understanding. It's why they keep coming back. What do you see, princess? People talking, eating together, laughing. And um, what is that emotion? Laughter. Don't know it. Don't you see the happiness there? Being cursed is pretty terrible. You'd assume the cursed would be constantly sobbing and bemoaning their bad luck, right? But there's none of that here. This is what being surrounded by good, kind people does. <laughs> it can make a terrible situation bearable. It can make a person feel lighter. But what is goodness, then? Why are these people good when I am not? I cannot help but think about the looks they gave me when I arrived disdain, contempt, and anger. None of those emotions were good. Being good doesn't require you to be selfless or kind every moment of the day. Sure, these people want to break their curses, but for a time, for a meal, they can put whatever they want to the side and listen to someone else for a change. That in itself is selfless. Delora nudges me with her elbow. And that makes them good people. I look down into my mug, my mind swirling with considerations. The instant I look up, Delora has disappeared. <clears throat> A month has passed and I have yet to complete even one good deed. Not for any lack of trying, though. I have been asking around for advice on how to be a good person and received various answers. Being selfless. Consider another person's feelings. Patience. The ability to soothe even the most broken of hearts. Forget I asked. Bravery. Loyalty. You must be beautiful, both on the inside and out. <laughs> right. I must be all of those things in order to be good. According to Parfait, I cannot just pretend. It has to come from my heart. I place my hand on my chest and consider the steady pulse of my heartbeat. That will not be easy. Hmm. Oh, da -da -da -da. But mother, what am I supposed to do? A dream? Your personal feelings are nothing but a weakness for others to exploit. That is why you do not show them. You only show them that you are strong. Yes, mother. You must not let false kindness deceive you. People will use niceties to trick you into exploiting your weak emotions. But you can trust me, Lucette. I will never hurt you. I will never lie to you. I am all that you need. I love you, Lucette. I love you too, mother. <sighs> ah. Lessons, the difficult time. Pair, 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 pair. Would pairing up with someone really help me break my curse? What if they end up being an annoyance instead? Why don't you pair up with someone? Pairing up might not be such a bad idea. Give me the choice. Woo! All right. Fritz, 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 Fritz. Reunion. <laughs> I, want, I have wanted this 
for so long. <laughs> oh, I am in town with Waltz because Parfait needed supplies for her potions, and we were the only ones available to get them for her. I do not know why, but I feel on edge. Don't worry, princess. I won't let anything bad happen to you. Though you know, you wouldn't even have to be here if Lady Parfait hadn't placed so many orders. I do not understand why she has to get everything today. Surely she can just pick up the rest tomorrow. If she was more patient, I wouldn't have needed to go out at all today for such a bothersome chore. Lady Parfait has been receiving a lot of orders lately. She needs to keep up with the demand somehow. Let's make this quick. Of course. My eyes wander to the shop right in front of me. This should be the place. How can I help? Oh, it's you. This is the witch who came into the Marchen some time ago with mud on her shoes. I remember you. What can I do for you two? We need all of the items on this list, please. Waltz holds out the list Parfait gave him. The witch surveys the list, then gives a thoughtful nod. I'll collect these for you right away. It'll only be a few moments. The witch disappears into her back room. I fold my arms as we wait, my thoughts drifting. We'll be finished before you know it, princess. Well, look who it is. Hello again, little girl. And it seems like you're here again with your little friend. <laughs> These are the men who that tried to rob me back when I was on the streets. Waltz quickly steps in front of me, as if to shield me from the men. Can he even protect me? She cleans up all right, don't she? Almost didn't recognize all her neat. Her all neat. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Us? We don't want nothing. But we heard there was someone who wants you. And they're willing to pay more money than we could ever have gotten from you. The man reaches out to grab me, but Waltz slaps his hand away. The man's unwashed, the men's unwashed stench reaches my nose and I try not to gag. Don't touch her. Oi, what's this? Oi, what's this? The witch reappears at the door and the men back off slightly when she appears. None of your business. I think it is. These people are my customers. Stay out of this hag. Hag? I am slightly startled when the witch leans forward and whispers to us, Listen, you both start running, okay? You run as fast as you can and don't stop for anyone. You need to get back to the marchin. But don't you worry about me. I'll distract them for as long as I can. But you need to run. Go. Hey! Look alive! Look alive, boys! This one itches! Waltz grabs my hand and pulls me with him as we run, not even turning back to look when we hear the shatter of glass. She's a witch. Why would she help us? Because she is a good witch princess. I'm sure she's only helping us because she wants to keep us indebted to her. We continue running against a current of people. I manage to keep up with Waltz for a time, but it is not long before my hand slips out of his and I am lost to the crowd. The minute I am separated from Waltz, I stop. Panic begins to well up inside of me. Waltz! I frantically look around at the crowds, trying to find him, but I fail. I need to get back to the Marchen. Slowly, it dawns on me that I am in a part of the town that I do not rec recognize. I do not know my way around this area. I knew leaving the Martian was a bad idea. When I see Parfait again, I will give her a piece of my mind. I found her! I immediately turn on my heels and run as fast as, as fast as I can. I'm so panicked I cannot even see what is in front of me. I do not notice the man in front of me until I crash into him. I prepare to fall, but the man has braced himself just before I crashed into him. We both somehow manage to remain upright. Excuse me, I... Princess? This voice. I look up in shock. Fritz! <laughs> It's really you. Princess, I... How does he remember who I am? There she is! I have no time to think about this now. Who? I grab his arm and pull him with me into a run. Why are we running? Somehow, he is barely out of breath despite how long we've been running. It sends a shiver of irritation through me. 
I think those men want to sell me. What? I shake my head as I try to tug him forward again. However, Fritz does not budge. Princess, this is very irritating. We must keep moving. I see her. Oh no. Princess? Wait, Fritz is a knight. I trust you can manage these two fools. With one hand behind my back. With a nod and a confident smile, he turns to face the oncoming men. He moves to stand in front of me, effectively shielding me with his body. Two on one. I don't like your chances, boy. We've got no business with you. We just want the girl. Run on home. She'll be more trouble than this is worth. You'll have to get through me first. Ha! Huh. And how do you plan on st I'm going to stop us with this? My sword! <laughs> Valid. Fritz brandishes his sword and smiles at them. Fritz is second only to his father, Sir Alcaster, in his ability with a sword. His skill is obvious just in the way he holds his blade. Straight out in front of him, arms locked. <laughs> That's how you hold a sword. Waving around a sword ain't, is, isn't gonna scare us away this time. The girl is worth enough gold to sort out any scratches we might get. Any closer and I'll do more than scratch you. Get him! The fight is over as quickly as it starts. I cannot keep up with Fritz's movements at first, but when I am able to focus on him again, the two men are completely immobilized. One is sprawled on the ground with Fritz's foot firmly planted in his back. The other is collapsed against the wall of the alley alleyway, with the tip of Fritz's sword pressed against his neck. You wanted to question them? Fritz is completely unscathed. I turned to look at the men against the wall, thinking he might be more capable of speech at this time. Who was going to pay you? <sighs> I'd answer her. I watch as Fritz presses his sword against the man's neck, enough to draw a gasp out of him. It was a witch! A witch? Waltz insisted that the witch we met was good, but this just further proof, proof that witches will always be inherently wicked. It was a witch, I swear. We got a note with your picture, then it burned to pieces right before our eyes once we read it. What did the note say? Just to get you to the witch in one piece. That payment wouldn't come when, it ha when that happened. How much was the payment? Answer me. One thousand gold pieces, a whole one thousand. One thousand gold pieces would be enough to feed a family for years. Princess. Not just anyone would have that kind of wealth. They would have to be nobility, royalty even. Are witches disguising themselves as member of, members of the aristocracy now? It was Mithras. Princess, yes? What do you want to do with these two? I look at the men and feel something icy run through my veins. These men were going to abduct me. There's no telling what they would have done to me if they had caught me. Please! Don't beg. What would your son say if he heard you? He has a family. That does not matter. Even if I had mentioned my family, it would not have made a difference. Wait. What did you do to her? Do to who? The wi the woman at the shop. What did you do to her? Nothing that can't be fixed. Did you hurt her? When neither of the men answer me, I frown. I do not know why that witch was trying to save me, but she did try. These men cannot get away with doing whatever they wish. Answer me. What did you do to her? Nothing that won't hail. The anger was nothing but a small flame burns full force in my chest. They do not deserve mercy. First big choice. Going off of Rumpel's route, we should want to spare them. I have a son! <laughs> and we know that killing people corrupts witches. And she is a witch. 
even though she herself would punish them. I don't know. I personally am sort of like, ah, punish them, they're assholes. But what would that do to Fritz? Because he would be the one carrying it out. But it doesn't seem like he would be bothered too much by it. I don't know. All right. Going with the logic of the story and the theory that killing people corrupts witches. And we want to keep Lucette and Fritz as uncorrupted as possible, even though it's against her character at this point in her arc. Uh, I'm gonna choose to spare them. They deserve to be punished, but these men worth nothing but puppets to some other master. Punish punishing them is a waste of time. It is an additional burden that I do not care to shoulder. Princess, promise not to come after me ever again. Swear it. I swear, I swear on my life you'll never see me again. I swear it as well. Let them go. As you wish. <sighs> and with that decision made, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye!